Hey guys, Dirty Distachio here. Do some more catch all clash raid strategy. And uh, again, I'm kind of a low might base. Most of my might is in my heroes and troop upgrades. And um, I do have some level 2 arrow towers, but that's how it's past the point of no return, right? So I only have level 6 walls, and I hadn't really learned a lot about might until after I had level 6 walls and sort of the impact might has on raiding so i didn't quite you know get it until actually somewhat recently so i stopped upgrading them at that point and i have i hadn't um totally shot myself in the foot because again my walls are still pretty low level and again yeah walls and defense is really the 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 sin many people make in terms of strategy they keep getting attacked and annihilated and and um that forces them to think that they need to build more walls and stronger walls and more towers and that just makes the opponents they face the next day be even harder so let me grab the Dirty Trinity. That's what I'm calling them now. Not the Holy Trinity, because I'm not a holy player. I mean, dirty player. Teaching you dirty tricks. Oh, I had a base like this uh, yesterday, too. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is like Thunder God's dream base, because he has so many damn walls to hit with that big-ass hammer of his that it is just perfect. And the only thing you really got to do here to beat this what looks like massive beefy impossible to destroy base all you gotta do is keep your thunder god alive because he's gonna whack on these level gajillion walls he's gonna hit another little he's gonna you know he's gonna come in into this one he's gonna hit this wall and he's gonna come into this mana mill and he's gonna come into this wall and he's gonna take out that and he's gonna hit this wall and he's just gonna be annihilating the whole base in the process so i just I was hoping to get a base kind of like this. I wasn't sure what I was going to show you today, but oh my gosh. It's just the best base. Now, yeah, that tower's going to hit him. He's got uh, a green and a blue upgrade on that this this tower right here. Um, That's all right. Let me just pop in Druid. But I'm going to get a few hammer wax off. Hopefully at least one, maybe two. Oh, he's thinking of anyone there, that bastard. Oh, there comes the tower. Look at that. Freaking useless tower. That tower is useless against heroes. Do not build that tower, people. It's kind of an interesting psychological reason why you probably built that tower. But, um... Guys got like a billion level <laughs> towers, but then he's sitting on a uh, marksman. Like, what? Why would you? <laughs> I'm just feeling here because I can. I mean, look at this base. That is so easy to beat. Huge mistake. Towers are just a waste. You probably used a bunch of gems on them and stuff too. I mean, why would you? Why would you do that? I mean, it just makes it so easy for me. And I mean, look at that. 2,500. I didn't even have to use that magic. I just did because why the hell not? I mean, it lost 60 marksmen, 10 trees. I mean, why do you even have those? <laughs> oh, this guy's just an idiot. That's okay. All right, let's just grab that restoration back. Dirty Trinity. Never forget the Dirty Trinity. 
I mean, that was just like free experience for me. Okay, this is interesting. Jeez, I don't even know what level tower that is. It's a high one though. Yeah, here's an interesting base here. So I'm 8,000 might and I'm facing other 8,000 might opponents like this gentleman or lady. And he's got like level 50, 40 heroes, 58 paladin, 58 ninja. What's this? 57 druid. Oh, let's just hit that druid first. Why not, right? There's not any uh, placement issues really with this base. Anywhere I attack, I'm going to get hit. Maybe there's a spot over by this altar, but I don't, I don't want to risk it. I just really want to take out this druid. Or I could actually start at the top and then hope that some of my AE Spirit Mage or Thunder God stuff takes him out. Yeah, yeah, let's do that, actually. Why not? These are better Thunder God walls down here at the bottom. These ones right here are a little bit better for Thunder God. But, hey, let's not get greedy here. Let's just kind of come in at the top here where we know we're not going to get hit by birds right away. And again, I call Griffin's bird, so you'll just have to learn to love that. And I'm going to just kick off with Paladin. So I'm going to go Paladin. Druid. Champion. Thunder God. Spirit Mage. That's just kind of my standard entry. Just let that Paladin get aggro. Because my Paladin's like invincible. Oh, what was that? Oh, he hit me. Oh, Thunder God got me with the whack. That's okay. That happens. Now I am going to hold off on uh, birds. I oh, will bring birds in because I lost a dude. That's all right. No big deal. Don't worry about it if you lose stuff. You're going to take some losses here when you're fighting towers of doom like this. Now I just brought my birds in knowing they get annihilated. Um, I'm okay with that. I just... It takes aggro off my heroes. And just, I just don't like using gems to revive them all the time. So every now and then, I will use my birds kind of a diversionary measure. Yeah, I'll probably lose like 30 of them, but the space is pretty easy. I lost a champion, I believe. That's all right. This will probably be a pretty good experience because man, those towers are super high level. Only 2,200. No, not too high. So yeah, I lost my 30 birds, but again, the base that kind of looked looked beefy was pretty easy to take down. Probably could have done that without the griffins, actually. But um, let's just do one more. Let me get my griffins going here. I still got a good number, enough, enough to raid with, anyways. So let's just get those building just for future... Let's see if there's a base I can do with the uh, kind of heroes only kind of thing, but I like to keep the griffins in standby just in case. Don't think too much about magic, just grab those three and go. Um, all right, I lost a hero, so I gotta revive him. Where are you? That's all right, that happens, and well, this guy has a lot of gold, which I don't... Again, the first thing to always look at is the hero levels. So this is going to be... doesn't have a druid, but... Honestly, it doesn't really have any ranged heroes here. So this is definitely a base to take down. Now, remember these towers. Remember the, how towers work. The range kind of goes from here to here. And then kind of from here to here. So... I might be able to get off a lot of, probably only be in the range of one tower with Thunder God here. So I'm just going to bring him in right here. And look at that, I'm not in the range of any any tower right there. So that was a pretty good approach. Thunder God whacking on walls, I mean, that's, that's almost a reason not to ever build walls. His stuff is going to get pummeled by him. You just expect it to happen. So you always have to have a tower or troops or something covering it. If you have walls, have something covering all your walls and defending them against this, because he's going to break through here. So I'm going to bring in some support just to help him out. 
But look, I won't be facing uh, the old dirty birds over there for a while. Uh, right about now, the birds will come in. There we go. We'll put a shield on. Again, no griffins have been sent in yet. Heels are doing pretty well. Pretty easy. Toss a heel in. It's going pretty well. And see, so yeah, this this defender made the fatal flaw there. Well, number one, all these walls. Number two, all those towers. And kind of number three combination of things where the towers weren't covering the walls. So that made this probably the easiest base of attack today. Look at that too, 3,000 experience. 600 per hero, and that is not bad. So again, using some dirty Distagio techniques, uh, we, we took those guys. Uh, happy rating.